It's a good day to be among the vines. Good Friday turned into Great Friday. The Easter Bunny came early. China's tariffs on Australian wine cost the Darrenberg Vineyard $6 million. As soon as the tariff came out, sales went to zero, basically. Uh, we had orders and already paid for sitting in the warehouse, and uh, they're still sitting in the warehouse, but they'll go very shortly. Winemaker Chester Osborne already has a trip to China planned. All of our importers are all wanting to talk to us and are interested in buying, so, so I'm optimistic, but I think it's going to take quite a while for it to develop. That's because the Chinese market isn't what it once was. Australian wine exports were worth more than a billion dollars before the tariffs were introduced. Getting back to those levels could take years, if it happens at all. It is uh, a market in which people are tending to drink a little bit less, but they're still drinking at very good price points. The government will be supporting the industry through this process. Uh, there, are, there are commercial relationships here that we want to support. Beijing has slowly unwound the almost $20 billion worth of trade barriers it put on Australia in 2020 and 2021 in what was seen as an act of political intimidation. The federal government says it's making progress on the tariffs still in place on rock lobsters and some meatworks. The fallout from the wine tariffs has been extensive. The domestic market uh, was quickly oversupplied uh, with a lot of wine that was destined for China, uh, which meant that uh, a lot of smaller to medium businesses like us uh, were squeezed. There is a significant oversupply of, of red wine. With hundreds of millions of litres sitting in tanks and barrels around the country, the return of the Chinese trade won't solve everything. Business is going to have to make some very difficult decisions, I think, over the next little while about their vineyards, the size of their vineyards, what they're growing, uh, and also what they're going to do with some of that red wine. Winemakers are being urged not to put all of their grapes in one bottle again. Natalie Whiting, ABC News.